Hi guys, uh, my name is Imran and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the rewriting of the URL using the HT access file. So what is uh, this rewriting URL? Okay, uh, to understand this, I'll give you a common example. Now, if you go to any particular website, uh, for example, pets.com, and if you see something like this, uh, pet underscore care info 0707-2008, now, basically what happen, what's happening over here is that uh, this is the URL of the page. Okay, this is the main site and this is the URL of that page that we are trying to direct the user to. Now, this looks a little bit uh, complicated and you know, uh, it's not very user friendly and not very easy to read. Uh, what would be easy to read is this, you know, www.pets.com slash pet care. So this is more readable and uh, Google also likes this kind of URL and not this kind of jargon uh, so, and uh, in case if you want to uh, pass this URL to somebody else like your friends etc then this will be very difficult to remember so to make it easy uh, for us to read and to ensure that you know uh, it's easy to remember uh, and it's more simpler we would use this format now this will not automatically happen uh, you know we need to tell the uh, server that you know uh, the user needs to be redirected to this page if they type this URL. And this method of rewriting the URL for our own use uh, and for the user readability, this is called URL rewriting. As the name says, rewriting is basically we are rewriting the URL uh, with the new information uh, and redirecting user to the actual page. Okay. So what we need to do is uh, to accomplish this, uh, to redirect the user uh, from pet care to the actual URL, what we need to do is we need to create a file called .htaccess into the root folder uh, of our main directory. Okay, um, now all the files that start with dot are basically the hidden files. Uh, okay, the system treats it as a hidden file. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I've gone ahead and created a folder called test, okay, and we will create a page called index.php, okay, and let's just echo, uh, saying that this is index.php, okay, now let's create another page. Or let, let's not create another page, let's keep it this way only. Let's create the, the ht access file. Dot ht access. Okay, create that. Just ensure don't add any extensions like dot txt or anything like that. It's just dot ht access. All right. Okay, so since, since we've got this, uh, this is basically a configuration file for the server. And uh, if you try to open the file, let me see that. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, .ht access a configuration file. And if you get any errors on your page uh, while performing the task, that means the configuration is not set. Uh, so before we proceed further and, and tell you how this works, we need to switch on our configuration. Okay, so to do that, okay, all right. So you need to go to your main um, root directory, the very beginning of your uh, directory of your computer. And once you go there, then you need to do cd So you go to, uh, you put ls there, okay, so you see all the files in your main directory of your computer. Uh, we need to get this file which is etc, okay, so type etc, we go into that folder, we check what's inside of this. Uh, what we want to target is this Apache 2, so write Apache 2, we go into that folder, let me check what's inside that. So if you see in Apache 2, we have a 
file called httpd.conf. This is actually the configuration file of your uh, local server Apache. Okay, and there is some user folders as well, which we'll talk about a little later. Okay, so we need to go into this particular file, uh, which is httpd.config. We need to read this file. To read this file, I need to type sudo nano and then the name of the file httpd.conf. It will ask for your password, so you need to put your password. Okay, so you've got this file, and then we need to scroll down using Control V button, which will help you scroll down page by page until we find uh, this line over here, which says "Load Module Rewrite Module." Okay, uh, so this needs to be uncommented if it is uh, commented over here that means that uh, you know it will not allow you to uh, rewrite uh, use the rewrite uh, method and uh, you might get an error uh, on your server okay so make sure it's uncommented okay then you go further down using the control and the button until you find this uh, directory Okay, so here if you scroll down more, it says allow override. So usually it should be none. So you need to change this none to all. Okay. And then you go further down. Okay, I think that's, that's about it. That's all you need to do. Yeah, that's all you have to do. So then you need to make changes. Um, so you need to exit. Control X to exit. So in your case, you'll press Y as yes because uh, you know you need to make those changes. In my case, I will not because I already made the changes earlier. So you select no. Okay. Then you need to restart the server. Okay. So to restart the server yeah you write sudo apache ctl restart okay so we've restarted the server now what we need to do is we need to go to the users folder so we'll go behind okay go to apache to ls yeah we need to go to users CD users. We're in users now, ls, and we'll open this file which is guest.config. You might have more in case if you've created many users, uh, but all we want to do is uh, change the configuration to allow us to use the rewrite uh, methods. Okay, so we open this file which is guest.conf since I only have one user. So we write uh, sudo nano guest dot conf okay so here if you see allow override uh, if it is none then you need to change it to all and again same thing you need to save it okay and then again you need to restart your apache server okay so all the configuration has been set and we all set to go and we can start using the uh, .htaccess uh, file okay so the different commands in the .htaccess okay so we can write comments using uh, this hash symbol okay so first thing we need to do is we need to turn on the rewrite engine so we write rewrite engine on this turns on the rewrite engine okay and then we need to put our request okay so there's a command called rewrite rule okay and uh, its syntax is basically the pattern and the substitution and then you have flags uh, that you can pass uh, for us to modify the action that we want to 
it to perform okay so in pattern let's say you want to write um, post dot php and you want the user to be direct if the user uh, goes to post dot php we want the user to be directed to index dot php okay so what we do is we create a post dot php page okay and what we want to do is that if the user tries to go on to post.php we want the user to be redirected to index.php so this is basically your expression this is the destination where we want to a substitution basically they want to direct the user to so let's try that so if we just do test then obviously we'll be on index.php but if we type post.php then we'll still get the index.php page why because we had done this echo over here it says this is index.php so if you see that even if the user tries to go to post.php he is redirected to index.php and this is uh, because we have used the rewrite rule over here which is directing the user who tries to go to post.php to index.php okay now if we also want to go ahead and you know uh, redirect the user if we type something else we can use a regular expression as well if we types anything else okay so this is a regular expression uh, dot which says you know select everything and so if user types anything over here after test you know uh, game or web or anything he will still be redirected to index.php so you can just type anything over here it's still be redirected okay i don't know why you want to do that but uh, in case if you want to and this is how it is done okay um similarly there are other uh, examples as well for example uh, in this situation wherein um, we wanted to redirect the user uh, from if he types uh, pet uh, happen care uh, you want to redirect the user to this path uh, we can use a regular expression which says start from here okay we write rules start from here and pet care and then question mark and dollar sign this is basically a reg regular expression to match uh, this this url okay and then you substitute that with this uh, particular url okay which is here okay so if the user tries to go to uh, this url and uh, he will be directed to this one okay and so on and so forth uh, you have other options as well you can write uh, other examples okay so this is pretty much the basic of it and you can get more information in my coming videos all right i hope you like the video thank you very much for watching take care